to. Koreans, it's the most exciting thing you ever saw. Why don't you come out and look at it? How you can sit there with that mud and stuff all over your face when you could be seeing this, I can't understand. So what do you see? A lot of machinery with water dripping all over it. If I ever see those locks again, I'll scream. Hello. Hey, you, I said hello. Hey, you weren't speaking to me by any chance. No, for on purpose. You know, soldiers on sentry duty aren't supposed to talk. What can they do to me? They can fire me. All right, I've already quit. I'm all washed up in the Army. This is my last day. Say, there's an idea. We ought to celebrate. Yeah, the Army will probably do the celebrating. Say, is the rest of you as beautiful as your face? No, I weigh 200 pounds and I, and I don't wear shoes. <laughs> Perfect. What should we do tonight? How about meeting you on the dock under the moon? But if there isn't a moon. I'll meet you under the dock. No kidding, how about you and me going places tonight when your boat gets in? Okay. No kidding, how about you scramming so I can see some of the scenery down here? I am the scenery down here. I'm Skid Johnson, the one-man army. Ask anybody. It's been delightful, Mr. Johnson. I go away. You bother me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Honey, I didn't think you'd admit it. I'll meet you on the dock at Balboa. Hey, I'll be wearing my civvies and I'll wear a carnation in my buttonhole so you know me. I wouldn't know you if you wore a rose behind your ear. <laughs> That's an idea. <laughs> 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 oh, gee, isn't it wonderful? I love you. It's like going down an elevator. It's wonderful. I guess it is the first time. Does the traffic always smell like this? Look. Oh, I forgot all about it. Let's go down quick. Oh, all you had to do was to turn off the juice as soon as the time was up. Oh, I thought you could do that, for gosh sake. Oh, I must have been asleep. The tropics make me so languorous. Well, how does it look? Oh, I'm just ducky. <laughs> what have you done to her? It's the tropics. They always do that to her. Oh, the tropics, mm -hmm. right? Uh, oh, there's something the matter. No, 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 no. You don't know everything, son, all right? Uh, yeah. Quite all right, yes, I know you will, yes. Uh, you girls will both come to my cabin just as soon as you have finished. I suspected it. I suspected it from the very first day. You're not a beauty operator at all. Are you? No, that's where you've got me. How dare you recommend her to me? Oh, now, look, boss, she's a friend of mine. She's broke. She's hitchhiking away to California. Hmm. Did she have to hitchhike on my customers' faces? Well, it was the only thing we could think of. You didn't want her to sing or anything now, did you? Certainly not. Why should I want her to sing? <clears throat> uh, do you sing? Yes, but not very good. Well, it's the only thing she does know. But there's a guy, see, in, in California, Oh, don't care if she don't know anything. He wants to marry her. <laughs> He's a, a, a cow baron or something. He's richer than Lucifer. Oh. Uh, Lucifer wasn't rich. Oh, well, what was he? Well, he was, um, he, uh, what was he? Proud. Proud, proud. There, see, I told you. Don't try to change the subject. Now, if this Lucifer was so, pr I mean, if this man was so proud, <clears throat> I mean, uh, Rich, uh, why doesn't he send you your fare? Oh, he doesn't even know I'm coming. I thought you said he was going to marry her. No, I didn't. I said he wanted to marry her. Oh, pardon me, wanted to. And on that account, Maggie figured there must be something wrong with him. Yes, okay. So she's going out to look the situation well over before getting into anything. You see, she doesn't know him very well. Oh, but he's known me for three years, but it's, it's so hard to explain. Mm -hmm. you did. If Maggie were on the stage, she'd be a stage door Johnny. Oh, but, of course. She, but she works in nightclubs, so we don't know what to call her. Every time get a ring, I think he's just the same. Oh, he's yeah. just crazy yeah, he's about her. You're just crazy. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's crazy. Crazy, well, you're driving me crazy. Now, you got a bargain with these guys, see? I'll start on this line and you start on that one. They'll all ask $3, but if you find one that'll take two, yell for them. Well, I hope Car. Round trip, Panama City, $1. How much? $1. You wait there, I'll grab a girlfriend. Good morning, 
the most notable public building of Panama is Palacio del Presidente. It is built on the same site it was occupied by official residents of kings of Spain during colonial epics. Uh, on ground floor is Moorish courtyard in the center of which are water fountains in which may be seen swimming water chicken of native species. Ducks to you. Yeah, well, ducks to you too. This isn't a palace, it's a cathedral. Must be wrong street. Must be wrong guidebook too. Listen, wise guy, you can come out from behind that hat now. <laughs> What's the matter with the hat? It's got a rose behind my ear, too. I still don't know you. Say, you know you're an awful liar. You do wear shoes and you got the prettiest... Say, do you know this guy? No, and we're tired of playing. You can stop this car right now. Now, <laughs> oh, come on, be a sport. I told you I was just mustered out of the army today. I thought it'd be fun for the four of us to celebrate. Who's the four? Harry. He owns the car. We're not interested. Speak for yourself. Say, I don't know what you got to be sore about. When you hired this heap, you thought you had a native guy. So it turns out that instead of that, you got a fine, upstanding, clean-limbed American lad and his friend. Here's where he lives. Harry, I mean. You'll like Harry. And instead of showing you a lot of buildings and statues and stuff, we'll show you the real town. <laughs> You're getting a couple of guys for nothing in here, and you are kicking. Come on, be good guys. We'll, we'll drive around. I'll make my usual cracks, and if you laugh, I'll think I'm good. If you don't, I'll think you're dumb. What do we waste? Two hours. What's two hours? I've never heard anybody talk so much in my life. Have you ever tried to sell anything? Sure. Right now. Me. You know, if you had something good to sell, you'd be really wonderful. He puts everything he's got into his piano playing. Everything? Girls, prepare yourselves. You're about to meet Harry Rankin, the hottest piano player in Panama. Well, no wonder he's hot in that overcoat. Well, I'm just recovering from an attack of chills and fever. Would you have a quinine tablet? The tropics, you know. Yeah, I know it. Do you know it? Yes, I really think you should have one. If you're for me, I've already got my pill. Well, um, Harry, this is... Uh, Ella. Ella, and that's... Uh, Marguerite. It's Maggie. Marguerite. How do you do? I'm very glad to know both of you. Hello. You should be glad to know anyone. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, let's go. Come on, the front seat, Maggie. No, you better climb over that door. It doesn't work. Oh, allow me. Thank you. Panamanian joint. Tourists don't get out here very much. Oh, it's so smelling. Huh? It's all. lovely. You think it's funny? I think I ought to have. Oysters. Oysters. Say, you better move over here closer to me. Why? Well, you know where you are, don't you? Well? You're in the tropics. Well, I know that, silly. And it's nice. Oh, it isn't either. Well, it'll be night in a minute. Hey, what are you getting at? You? Oh, stop it. If you're going to act like that, we won't have any fun at all. Well. You know, most girls like a lot of junk like this. I can be myself then, huh? Oh, I wouldn't go that far if I were you. Well, you're pretty fast with the answers, aren't you? No, they just seem fast. You see, you've been down here quite a little while, and the tropics kind of slow you down. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you want the rest of your oysters? I don't want this one. Don't you like trumpet music? No, nobody likes trumpet music. Still us a Uh, Those platters punches. Do we I think they do. Look, somebody might like it, but you couldn't be very bright to like trumpet music. Well, maybe you're right. I like it. You do? Well, what you like about it, I can't possibly imagine. It's just noise. You blow a lot of air into a tin horn and it comes out rat tat rat tat Oh, it's awful. What's the matter? Don't you like music? Music? Of course I like music, but that isn't music. It's a... 
Well, of course I like music. Vi violins, that's what I like. Violins. Soft, sweet, and romance. There's no romance in a trumpet. Romance in a trumpet? Eh. What you mean is you don't like trumpets. I don't like trumpets. Let me help. 
puede que para algunos el nombre de Panamá sea un símbolo de placer. Eso hasta cierto punto, porque en otro sentido significa mucho más. Por lo tanto, imposible tolerar escándalos como los que ustedes han cometido. En consecuencia, este tribunal los condena a una multa de 50 pesos. Y dice que pagas 50 dólares. Jack, tal vez es mi boot. ¿Qué hace? Oiga, oiga, pero hombre, no la dejes ir. ¿Pero dónde va? No, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Vamos. No comprendo qué es lo que ustedes quieren demostrar. ¿Qué es lo que ustedes quieren demostrar? ¿Qué es lo que ustedes quieren demostrar? ¿Qué es lo que ustedes quieren demostrar? ¿Qué es lo que ustedes He sido paciente y tolerante, pero hasta la paciencia de un juez tiene sus límites. ¡Oh, shut up! Este tribunal los condena a 150 pesos de multa. He said you pay fine 150 dólares. Maybe better keep quiet. Now can I help? No. You, you wouldn't settle for the 60, would you? That's what he... There's a hundred, hundred and ten. $112, no travel money. $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112, $112
hand up a little. What? Keep your hand up a little. You don't need to yell at me. I'm right here, you know. How do you turn the gas on? There isn't any gas. Well, then how do you cook? You build a fire in the stove with wood. Hey, look. We're getting no place fast with this thing. Say, I have an idea. Just sit down quietly and figure this thing out. There must be a simple answer to it somehow. I can tell you eat out a lot. And that certainly isn't good for you. No wonder Harry's sick. We'll have to buy a lot of things to do, you know, staples and things and... Well, maybe I did the wrong thing. Skinner! Skinner, I think I did the wrong thing. Yes, 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 I, I think it's... put you in a lovely spot, haven't I? Well, with me, it's just temporary, you know, just so my boat comes through again. What are you going to do? Oh, don't worry about me. I can always go back in the army. The army? What do you want me to do, go native? No, just take that junk out and burn it up. What are you saving beer caps for? Hey, there's a lottery ticket I almost won, huh? The army. Always the army. No ambition at all. Kid, huh? You can do something with it. With what? It's a crime to hide a talent like you've got under an army blanket. You're the best trumpet player I ever heard. I thought you said you didn't like trumpet music. Well, I didn't, and I still don't. But I like it when you play it. I don't know what you do to it. Something. Why don't you try making a living with it? You mean go to work? Yes. I hate to bring it up, but Skid can go to work over at Murphy. Oh, that's wonderful. Did she really offer you a job? Well, why don't no. you take it? Would you have what? to have your own trumpet? Oh, of course you couldn't get a job in an orchestra unless you had your own horn. Oh, but Skid's got a horn. Well, you don't have to tell the whole world about oh, it, do you? Oh, you might like working. You might like it better than the arm. You couldn't tell till you try it. I can tell now. Betting on him. Betting on him? Yeah, you see, he, 
Uh, he's a professional now, and, and uh, uh, well, uh, he was going swell until, until his knees kind of buckled under him, and then he, he lost, and I, I lost the money. What money? You didn't... Skip Johnson, where's your trumpet? Well, I, I pawned it. But, but I still got my mouthpiece. I can sort of keep my lip up on it, and, you know, uh, keep my lip up. Claudian. Hey, that ought to do it. I just figured what's the use of working a whole week for what you can win in a couple of minutes. Nice figuring. I got just the right thing for him. What's that? Claudian. Claudian? You're not going to put Claudian on a chicken, well, Harry. It's the best thing for scratches. I always use it myself. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. This will fix him right up. Oh, oh, oh. Butch, come here. Butch, hey. Here, here. Now, say, now, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Of course, I'm not the type to tell you I am. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Take this thing away. Come on, three up. Come on, Butch. Come on, Butch. That's gratitude, eh? Skid. Get him, will you? Now, don't get him excited. Don't get him excited. There, Butch. Gosh, Maggie, you don't know Murphy. I can't go in and ask for an advance when, when I haven't even got the job yet. You can't get the job without the trumpet, and you can't get the trumpet without the five dollars. Oh, but I'm too young to die. All right, you wait here, I'll get it. No, no, no. No girl has to run interference from me. Oh, well, listen, Skid, you know, sometimes it's easier to tell somebody else than it is yourself, isn't it? I mean, it'd be easier for you to tell somebody I'm good than you're good, wouldn't it? Oh, would it? You wait here, I'll be out in a minute. You'll be out quicker than that. But, Mrs. Murphy, I didn't ask for a job for myself. Oh, well, let it go, then. But you couldn't work in a better place. And you're the type I like around here. You wouldn't have to do much. Sing a little, dance a little, and talk to the customers. I think you're making a big mistake, but let it go. I ain't begging you. But it's Skid that has the He's got a talent for making more trouble than any ten guys in Panama. I heard what he'd done at the Tayara last night. They got a close for a week for repairs. He ain't gonna bust up my joint. Oh, that. Yeah. Back. Well, I, uh, oh, I, I, I wish you'd been there last night. It was really beautiful. It must have been. There ain't a stick of furniture left in the place. Well, Skid feels awful about everything, you know. Young man just out of the army with responsibilities and everything. It's hard. Skid Johnson never had a responsibility in his life. Well, he's got me. Well, you can't be such a serious proposition. You're kind of new in Skid's life, ain't you? New? Well, I should say not. Why, Skid and I have known each other ever since since childhood. He sent for me to come down just as soon as he got out of the army. Oh, I wouldn't marry him as long as he was in the army. Would you? No. Oh, so you could see how he'd feel on his honeymoon with his wife working and him broke without a job. Mm, yeah. Well, and besides, we do a swell number together. Skid and I have always worked together. Well, not in the army, of course. But... Yeah, don't you see? I can see one thing. Skid's got a lot more sense than I give him credit for. Hello. You remember me? Well, hello. You sure been in there long enough. What? For Pete's sake, how did you do it? Well, well, she just understood. You're crazy. She's really a wonderful woman, Skid. Murphy? Oh, underneath that bark and cigar smoke, she's a woman, and all women are romantic. Murphy, romantic? The minute she found out we'd just been married, she went positively dewy-eyed. The minute she found out what? Skid, listen, don't be mad because I told her we were married. Married? Well, you cared very much. She's got you a job, and she even said I could do something or other for a couple of weeks, and by that time my boat will be back, and I'll go away. Don't get sore. I'm not sore. Sore? I'm not sore at all. <laughs> got a new blonde working for you. Yeah? Well, she ain't army ration, so relax. Truthy, eh? Mm. What's the sauce, Johnny? Cinco. I was going to say for a good
Hey, Maggie. Hey, you look swell out there. Come in, Ernest. Those things look like an elephant egg. Oh, thanks. Why'd you learn to walk like that? Oh, well, I learned you. Oh, oh darling. I was so excited when Murphy told me you were working here. I. Uh, Maggie. Uh, uh, Alvarez, this is Miss King. How do you do? Oh, Miss King. Why, I thought you were the new Mrs. Johnson I've been hearing so much about. I am. Really? Yes. Gee, Skid, I thought I knew you awfully well. I didn't think you were the marrying kind. But I still don't. Girl, I used to know. You used to know? Yeah, you used to know. Oh. But listen, unless you want us both to lose our jobs, you better introduce me as your wife. You know, we're supposed to be married. Yeah, but you're not my wife. I know, but I'm supposed to be. Nowadays, every dance academy exercises your whole anatomy, too. Come on, come on. You're supposed to be working, you know. Yeah, I'm supposed to be a lot of things. While fever that rages, watch out, it's contagious. Costume. Customer wants to meet you. Big coat hanger man from Cleveland. And you get 25% for all the champagne they order and only 10% for the scotch. The will vanish in you. Vent is wheeling, you'll be revealing the vanish in you. Hey, Murphy, who is that girl? Anita Alvarez, why? Cute kid. May I present Miss Johnson? Glad to meet you, Miss Johnson. Have a scotch and soda. In the tropics? Didn't you know it was poison to drink hard liquor so near the equator? Oh, champagne's the only thing. You mean to say everybody in the tropics drinks champagne? She's quite right, Mr. Musselwhite. Waiter. Your position, your role, and intuition tells you your condition, Panamania. Panamania, Panamania. And I told them they'd have to order a hundred grosser coat hangers or they wouldn't get any at all. Panamania. Are you listening? Panamania. Yes, you're listening. you'll be You shouldn't encourage those dumb guys like that. They're, they're liable to figure it wrong. Well, what possible difference could it make to you? No difference, no difference at all, but you've got to remember we're supposed to be married. Yes, but we're not. For mercy. You know you're longer on one side than the other? Yeah, he was born on the side of a hill. No, I think that's from stabbing my foot when I kept on the music. Go on, Skid, keep on playing. <laughs> but at this time, allow me to introduce to you our newest convert of the fine art of trumpeting. Oh, shut up! Yeah. Yeah. I've been about that forever. I told you when you played it, it, it thrills me. <laughs> to the marrow of my bones, it chills me. Hey, there's a lyric. The trumpet thrills me to the marrow of my bones. It chills me. That's not bad. It's not good. It's better than that school song I wrote, Fried On for Redlands, Conservatory of Music. Boy, I bet that was a hit. Yes, it was. Hey. Fried On for Redlands, Conservatory of Music. Here we took a break. Ra, ra, ra. RCM. Hey, wait a minute, Harry. Play that a little slower. Harry, Harry, the words, Harry, the words of the music. 
know, I think we've got something here. Get a, a paper and pencil. Gee, it's pretty. If it turns out to be good, do you think Murphy will let us do it? Why? Well, you know that I told her we did a number together. You told her a lot of things, didn't yes, you? Yes, I certainly did. Harry, what's the first line? The uh, trumpet throws me. To the marrow of my bones, it kills me. Me in the least. Well, Skid, all you have to do is just wait your turn. You're wonderful. You're really wonderful. You look lovely, too, having your hair coming out on that side. Harvey, I can't believe my eyes. Oh, it's so good to see you. It's good to see you, too, Marguerite. Oh, you look fine. Of all places, are running. How did you know I was here? Oh, uh, some girl sent me a wire. Here it is. There. Oh, Ella. Yeah. She said you were stranded here on your way to me. But she shouldn't have told you that. Harvey, I. I oh, now, you, now you listen. I'm not kidding myself. I know you're not in love with me, or you'd have married me a long time ago. But, Harvey, you don't understand Sure I, I do. I always have. But I'm so in love with you that, well, just having you around, that's enough for me, Marguerite. Oh, Harvey, Come I... on, Maggie, we, we haven't got much time. Well, oh, Skid, this is Harvey Howell. He's a very good friend of mine. Skid Jones. Oh, glad to know you. Glad to know you. Uh, we're on our way to get married. Married? Yeah, tonight. Maggie isn't taking any chances on waiting until tomorrow. She knows the guy's got to tell the truth on Washington's birthday. Say, why don't you come along? Harry's going. We need a couple of witnesses. And, well, he's, he's a piano player, and, well, Maggie knows you, and... Uh, Skid! No, no, I'd, I'd like to, Marguerite. Oh, that's well. Well, come on, come on, Maggie. Lo mismo en la pobreza que en la riqueza. Tanto en el dolor, cuanto en la alegría. Hasta que la muerte le separe. Repeat after me, please. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. You are married now. <laughs> married? Felicidades, señor. <laughs> I just believe you that. You're supposed to kiss the bride. <laughs> we don't open till nine o'clock. The tree ain't ready yet. Yes, ma'am. And at nine o'clock, down with the whiskers. Yes, ma'am, but it sure is hot. Hot or cold, it's Christmas, so act like it. 
And you boys, hurry with those decorations. Leave me alone. Pedro? A little more sugar in this and hurry. Then it is Karen Sandali, come in here and throw up all this paper and get it. Girl, step on it. We've got to get this place open. If it's not a flame, burning night and day, then it's nothing more than a game. You know, that guy could play chopsticks and make it sound like number one on the hit parade. <laughs> yeah. He's brought more business in here than any ten acts I've had. Yeah. <laughs> I see she's still at the El Greco. I wonder they haven't caught up with her by now. Who? Alvarez. She says, Merry Christmas, and she feels so sorry for us down here. Well, she needn't. How do you like the new number? It's all right. You know, you never get a swell head around Murphy, would you? You never get a swell head anyway. You're too smart. Skid blogs the big time, Mr. Johnson. He blogs on Broadway. That's where I want to put it. But will he listen to me? Well, certainly he'll listen to you. Well, certainly he'll not listen to me. You mean you offered Skid Johnson a job in New York and he turned it down? I got a spot where he could step right into it. And a honey. Well, well don't worry. He'll take it. Well, why don't you want us to come? Well, now look, honey. Dames are a drug on the market. Skid, Skid's got something that's different. He's got something to set that town on his ear, see? Sure, sure, I see. Now, if you let him go on ahead and kind of get the feel of things, then he can send for you. In the meantime, you can hold on to the job here, and if Skid uh, should draw a blank up there, you'd have something to come back to. That makes sense, doesn't it? Sure, sure, that makes sense. Too good to turn down. But I've got to talk to him. Harry, where's Skid? Well, he's, uh, he just, uh... Oh, thanks. Hey, Miguel. What do you have, Skid? He's oh. had. Two. Too many. Oh, but Maggie, this is Christmas. Well, last time was your birthday. You know, the time before that it was Butch's birthday. Pretty soon every day will be a holiday, and then where will we be? Far closed. Honey, you have to take care of yourself in your condition. What's the matter with my condition? You don't know, but you're about to become a star. I just fixed it. Now, honey, you go over and thank the man and tell him you'll be very proud and happy to go to New York with him. Oh, no. Skid, but you can send for me a new time at all. It's your chance. You got to take it. Look, Maggie, I've already told the guy I don't want to go to New York. I like it here. Gosh, we're doing all right. We have fun. You want to blow a trumpet at a cheap hoggy talk all your life? Why not? Well, does it mean anything for you to become a star? You know, go right to the top. All right, I go right to the top. What do I do when I get there? Oh, but honey, you'll be a sensation. You know, really a sensation. I'm a sensation here. Isn't that enough? No. Hey, Murphy, Maggie wants me to go to New York. I couldn't go if I wanted to, could I? Tell her. Why? What's stopping you? Well, you, you got a contract with me. Yeah? Well, listen, young man. My contracts ain't worth the paper they're written on. 
my lawyer sees to that. Good luck, kid. Thanks, Murphy. Have I got a spot for you? Have I got a spot, the El Greco? You heard of the El Greco? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of the El Greco. All visitors ashore. All visitors ashore. Take these pills with you, Skid. I'd sure laugh at you, too, if I turned out to be a prize flop. Mr. Moore's supposed to be very good. I am a flop, I can always... I know. You can always go back in the army. I think I'd better get off now, Skid. I'm beginning to get sick. Well, so long, Harry. Bye. You better take the lemon. No, thank you. Gosh, Maggie, I don't know how to say goodbye. I've never said goodbye to you. Oh, we'll never say goodbye to us. I wish I didn't feel like making a big mistake. All of the the shore. Here's the bank, Roskid. Oh, no, I can't take that. Well, why don't you? I don't want you to run it's short. You know, business. when you get right. down, they don't treat you right, then you can walk out. See, darling? All of the shore. Oh, I love you. Thank you very much. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye, Maggie. All of the shore. I wish I could feel lost already without you. Oh, no, darling. magic trumpet will fill the El Greco nightly. You know, we'll have to start a clipping book for him right away. Hmm. He doesn't photograph badly at all. And listen, New York public completely fooled. Get ready to sail in a week. Love, Skid. What do you think of that? Not much. What's he waiting a week for? Oh, you have to pay back Georgie, doesn't he? He has to buy some new clothes. You wouldn't want him running around New York in ice cream pants, would you? I wouldn't want him running around New York at all. But Maggie, when a car to father was set. Oh, I guess that I guess this shows you. Gee, I won't have much time to get ready at all, will I? No. Don't you think it's pretty good to save enough money to send for me already? It's a miracle. Yeah. Come on, Skid. We're going to miss the main event. Hey, wait a minute. i got to send the wire. Come on. We've got a big bet on. 
on. You can send it later. Well, listen, you remind me to send it after the fight, then. Oh, sure. Come on, everyone. on a monologue, ain't you? What would you do, Murphy? I suppose what you're going to do. Let me the fare. It's 125, ain't it? You sure you want to go up there? Thanks. Cry for help. This town has more broke guys than there were in the army. <laughs> I can try to the Queen Mary and send for Maggie. Who is Maggie? Don't so give me hundred, will you? See, that's wonderful, yeah. but don't you think that calls for a celebration, sir? Like party, yeah. Party, yeah. Yeah. Party, yeah. Somebody gonna meet you here, miss? What? Oh, yes, yes, no thanks.
Give me the Leland Hotel, please. Leland Hotel. Does um, Miss Anita Alvarez live there? Will you please connect me with the room? This is Skid, the one-man army. Who goes there? I say, who goes there? Hello? Oh, soldier, what happened to him? Don't you need me anymore? your wire. It's been chasing me all over town because... Well, now listen and don't laugh. Mary? Oh, well, that's wonderful. <laughs> Harry and me, can you imagine? Oh, give me my love. Yes, I will. Well, what's the matter? Are you crying or something? No, no, I'm slappy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Have you seen Skid? Oh, Skid. Oh, Skid and I are getting a divorce. Oh, I don't know. You know, it's gone a long time, and that's the way it goes, I guess. Oh, well, you finally got some sense, did you? Harvey Howell still registered there? I'd like to speak to him, please. My wife? That's what she said. She called up three times. No, no, no. My wife in Panama. Letter from her. Probably some girl pulling a gag. Yeah. Last night and the night before and all day. That's all he's been doing, reading that letter. For a week now he's been reading that letter. I say a week's too long to read any letter. It's my letter, isn't it? I guess a guy can read his own letters if he wants to. All right, all right. But the boys that run that place you think you work in are plenty sore. If you don't show up tonight, you're fired. Hey, are you listening to me? You read that a dozen times, too, and it says she's sailing on the Normandy tomorrow. No matter how many times you read it, it'll say the same thing. She's sailing on the Normandy tomorrow. This would be a sap to go up and say goodbye to her. Better let things ride the way they are, I guess. Better let her alone. Okay, Harvey couldn't have any kick if I just went up and said goodbye to her. I haven't met his wife yet. All I want to do is go up and say goodbye and have a couple of drinks and say goodbye. Come on. Hey, well, what do you want me for? Come on. Bring Tony with you. Oh. Why the French divorce? Not our divorce is good enough for you? Well, Harvey's attorney arranged it that way. Have you told Skid? I wrote him. How'd he take it? I haven't heard from him. 
Skip never was much of a hand for writing letters. He never was much of a hand at anything. He doesn't play a bad trumpet. How long do these French divorces take? I don't know. Well, I guess it'd be kind of fun in Paris. I've never been there before. I was there once with my first husband. Hey, Maggie! Hey, that's good. Well, what do I do with him? Let him wrap. You're not in. Well, there's no sense of being unfriendly. Now, you just keep on picking him up and dusting him off every time he falls down, and the first thing you know, you get Harvey sore. I know, but he might be in trouble or something. Maggie! Kid, you're looking swell. Oh, say, this is Georgie Herman, my agent. You remember him. Hello, Miss Johnson. Glad to see you. And uh, this is Tony Morelli. I keep him around just for laughs. Laugh, Tony. <laughs> he killed me. <laughs> That's enough, Tony. Plenty. Oh, <laughs> the same old Ella. How are you, Ella? Glad to see you. How are you, Harry? Glad to see you, Skid. Hey, this looks like old home we can pat him on, doesn't it? Harry, you're looking awful well. Is anything wrong? Ella and I got married. No. <laughs> well, I guess the guy that said there was one born every minute was right, huh, Tony? <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> Very. Don't be bitter, Ella. Shall I serve them, sir? No, thanks. I'm an old bartender from way back. Thank you, sir. Don't work your eyes on it. Maybe one of these days you'll be in the door like I am. Thank you, sir. Say, it's a good thing I brought up these drinks. We, we got some celebrating to do. There's yours, gorgeous. No, thanks. Oh, come on, come on. This is kids going away party for Maggie. <laughs> By the way, I... Uh, got your valentine. Why didn't you come up alone? Oh, I couldn't shake these guys. They've been with me since last night. Last night? I haven't looked a bed in the face for a week. King of the nightclubs, huh? Oh, I gotta let the people see me, don't I? Might you get the black eye? I want my knee taken bows. Well, who's knee? You ought to see the other fellow, Mrs. Jumps. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, you quit riding me. I'm doing all right, ain't I? Certainly are. Your two weeks' notice is written on every bottle of scotch in town. Hey, lay off. You've got a new guy to worry about now. You stepping off pretty soon? I've got to get a divorce first, don't I? Yeah, that's right. So you've been crying. I have not. Don't kid me, I've seen you cry too often. If that's for me, don't put too much water in it. Okay, sweet, how's this for you? You'll have to play for yours, Professor. Well, it won't be the first time. You're telling me? Come on, play for the and 40. So you used to be a professor, eh? Right on for dear old Redland's Conservatory of Music. <laughs> remember that, Maggie? Yes, I remember. What's the matter, kid? Nothing. I was just thinking we had fun riding it, that was all. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Boy, we used to wow him in Panama with that number, didn't we, Georgie? Hey! Mm. Say, remember when I pawned my trumpet, you had to buy the... Say, did we ever pay that five bucks back to Murphy? Yes, I paid it. Murphy? He's who? Oh, she ran the joint in Panama where we used to work. She, she's Butch's mother now. Butch is our chicken. I tell you to die, that chicken tried to murder Harry. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, a chicken tried to kill you? <laughs> Yeah, and he got attacked by a bed once, too. Oh, gee, you look silly. You see, I set the house on fire, and you know what these two did? They got the bed stuck in the door, and they went to sleep. <laughs> she wanted goats. I never could figure that out. Goats? And any goats in a house? <laughs> yeah. Hey, boy, was that a night? Maggie took off her hat, see, when you yeah, took off her hat and got him up. And you know, you know, he had to make a noise like a boat to get Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had to make a noise like a boat. Well, the judge was Spanish, see, and she wanted to catch a boat, and I forgot the word for a boat, so I was trying to show him like this. <laughs> <laughs> Having a party, Maggie? No, no, come in, Harvey. Hello, Mr. Howell. Why, hello, Ella. How are you, Howell? Hello, kid. Boys, this is Mr. Howell. He's an old cow hand from way out west. How are you, Mr. Howell? Glad to meet you. Any pal of Skid's is a pal of mine. <laughs> Harvey, you know Harry. Well, certainly. We were witnesses at Skid's wedding, weren't we? Yeah, that's right. That was some wedding. We didn't even know what the guy was talking about. Maybe we weren't even married. Maybe you two are going to a lot of trouble for nothing. That'd be a laugh, wouldn't it? Well, Harvey, here's a drink for you. Thanks. Well, there's no sense in us standing around like this, is there? I know, no. I don't want to spoil anything for you. It sounded very gay in here to me when I came in. Why don't you go on with the music? Why, surely, Mr. Howell. Play, Harry. Yeah, play something. Yeah, come on, play something, Harry. Come on, Harry, play the wedding march. Play it fast and hot. This is a hot wedding. Come on, Harry, play it. No, we're celebrating a wedding. Come on, sing it, everybody. Here comes the bride. Come on, sing it. Yes. I think you 
better go now. All right, all right, Mr. Hall, I'm going. I'm going. Don't hurry, I'm going. So long, Maggie. Skip. Skip, we've looked every place for you. Do you know what time it is? It's nearly time for you to go on. Get away from me. Skid, snap out of it, will you? Get away from me. Skid, you've got to listen to me. If you don't show up, you'll get fired. You're right what I said. Skid. I said get Skid. away from me. Get I told you before, I got the nice people here. Okay. I can have drums, okay. you know that. Hey, wait a minute. Now, this is the last time, huh? Now, take care of yourself. Thanks. Oh, you remember him? That's the Skid Johnson. Sure. You set me on the Skids now. The Skids are the Skids. <laughs> Did you hear that? Then he got it sent to you, man. told me I might find Skid Johnson here. Well, he was here about three minutes ago, but he went out. Oh, you wouldn't have any idea where he went? Well, I have no idea. No, no, no. thank you. I used to get my wife's nanny. She couldn't take it. I used to say it just to tease her. Say what? Well, honey, I can always get back in the army. But you can't. You know, I never thought I'd... What did you say? We can't use you. You're all shot. Better put your clothes on, son. You're pretty shaky. Hey, Skid. Oh, hello, Harry. Skid, I've been looking all over town for you. Hey, you're looking fine. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing all right. Skid, I got a proposition. Oh, thanks. I got to see you. Oh, I know, but first I got a proposition. Come on, get in with me, Skid. Mighty sweet little swing band now on me. We're playing in towns in Long Island, New Jersey. We're in Long Island tonight. That's where you and I are going now. Oh, you can't get out here, Skid. We're on the bridge. We're crossing the river. I had a last minute hunch to come in town and look for you. So 
for the band's giving a radio audition tonight. I thought maybe you could jump in and help us out. Oh, sure you can, Skid. You must be going nuts. How often do you think I can get a band like yours by through to a sponsor? You know what this chance means to you, Nella? Well, you said a name. I meant a name somebody remembers. Oh, I remembered it. I work my head off for a radio spot. I get a big sponsor all steamed up. I get it all set to pipe the band through to New York. And then what do I hear? Well, uh... Johnson's cockeyed all the time. Well, you said that before. Now, listen. I'm putting that program through tonight, hot or cold. Do we have to go through with it? Sure, we'll have to go ahead with it. It's too late to call it off now. It's your funeral, not mine. I can hold some other band. I don't want Mrs. Skid Johnson stopping. And move, I gotta get in touch with her before she gets out of town. You gotta help me, Mrs. Johnson. You could always do anything with Skid, and this is his last chance. Oh, Skid ain't a bad guy, Mrs. Johnson. I sort of figured maybe he just rolled You figured up. wrong. Sure. Well, you can't rule me out for trying. Let's give it. Gonna be in town long? No, I'm flying to the coast tonight. I'm gonna be married as soon as I get there. Good for you. I guess just, well, just to forget all about Skid. I guess he's just no good. Seems kind of too bad, though. The kid's got a lot of talent. Well, but then if he goes on his face, it ain't your funeral, is it? Well, goodbye, Miss Johnson. Good luck and a lot of happiness. Thanks. This isn't until 10 o'clock. He's out like a light. Come on, let's get some stuff. Maggie! Oh, hello, Ella. Well, how did you get here? No, don't tell me. I know, and I'll wring his neck. Harry, you had no No, business. no, no, Georgie told me. Oh, where is he, Ella? You remember those emergencies I told you about? Kidney, I've been seeing things lately. I wouldn't kid you. Hello, Skid. Hello, Kid. Please let me look at you. You're looking swell. Oh, I'm glad to see you, Skid. Let's have a drink, huh? Yeah, that's all you need. You're not ashamed of me, are you, Maggie? No, it's good. You're not going to ride me, are you? I'm not going to ride you. <laughs> you know something? I can't get back in the army. Well, you don't have to now. Oh, you're going to be a big hit tonight. Oh, you got to put yourself together, Skid. Look, look, you know, they're going to be listening in in New York at 10 o'clock. Oh, sure you can make it. You've got to, Skid. Why, without you, Ella and Harry, they're sunken. You know, they've been good friends of ours. You can't walk out on them now. I'm all shot. Oh, you can come out of it. You think I can? Oh, I know, huh? No, I did think I was pretty good, didn't you? Are you right, Skid? It was there. 
Broadcasting from the Harmony Dance Hall, the brightest night spot outside the city of New York. There it is now. We have a surprise for you tonight, friends. Of course, you all remember Skip Johnson and his magic trumpet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're, back again, folks. they're back together again right here, and Skip's going to play for you most any minute now. He's doing a grand comeback. He's climbing right back up on top of the heap again. Better than ever. Come on, let's give Skip a hand. <laughs> That's probably somebody clowning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 